Jesus. Love Jesus loves you. Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Uh, so the song, Jesus Paid It All, All to Him I Owe, one of my favorite songs ever. My sister wrote a song that's uh, one of my favorites also. And then uh, what's her? I forgot how her song goes. I'm going to have to talk to her. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I thought of it. So it's a really good song. But uh, and then uh, another song is uh, what is the song? Give me one second. It's uh, Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Then the song my sister wrote, I love it. And then uh, what is it? Uh, oh come on! Oh love that will not let me go. By who is it by? A love that will not let indelible grace. A love that will not let me go by indelible grace. Those are my top three favorite songs. One my sister wrote, indelible grace. A love that will not let me go. And Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. The main reason I like Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe, is because it's a truth that most people don't realize in Christianity. Jesus paid it all. That's fantastic. That had to happen. Everyone is aware of that in Christianity. That Jesus paid it all. Everyone preaches it every Sunday. What they don't preach, let's raise this up, we're saved by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Blood of the Lamb, word of our testimony. So Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Blood of the Lamb, word of our testimony, Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. So Jesus doesn't ask you to do a bunch of stuff for him. He asks you to give your life to Jesus in a moment of time. So in a, a single moment of time, you give your whole life to Jesus and he comes to live in you. Then you have the author of the Bible, the Holy Spirit, like helping you live a holy, godly, loving life. So you have the author of the Bible living in you. You're a new creature. So, Je so like I said, uh, Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Like, give him your whole life in a single moment of time. It's not about, like, helping the elderly and orphans and widows. That's part of, that's obviously part of true religion. James said true religion is helping orphans and widows. But if you help orphans and widows but never give your life to Jesus, like, it doesn't mean diddly. Like, Jesus will say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. So you have to give your life to Jesus. You have to find Jesus. You'll find me when you seek for me, when you seek for me with all your heart. And you read the scriptures because you think in them you have eternal life, yet you refuse to come to me, that you may have life. So you have to find Jesus. You have to go to Jesus outside the city, bearing the shame and reproach that he bore. So give your life to Jesus and keep helping orphans and widows but give your life to Jesus and then you'll help orphans and widows in a way better way than you've ever imagined. So Jesus paid it all, all to him. I owe Jesus. Love you. Jesus loves you.